Formed in the late 19th century, the Guernsey Water Company operated as its island's only water supplier and distributor. By 1920, the company was providing water to 1,850. The primary water source at this time were seven wells in St Martin's and Forest areas. In 1920, it was agreed that the state should take over the growing responsibility for the island's water supply. And so the state's water board was formed. It was the start of the year where we had the lowest rainfall ever recorded, putting the island's water supplies under great strain. During the next 15 years, the board constructed the island's first WTW, water treatment works, at Kings Mills and St Saviour's. Dumping stations were built to make use of water flowing through the island's valleys. In 1930, consumption had more than doubled to 1,100 mil. But it was clear that the demand was only going to increase further. Work on the dam was halted during World War II, but commenced again in 1946, following the island's occupation from the occupying forces. The dam was sealed in January and by April the reservoir was overflowing. In 1936, the board proposed the construction of an impounding reservoir in St Saviour's Valley which could create a 1,090 megalitre reservoir. The project was agreed and work began in 1938. Over the following years, more pumping stations were built. Disused quarries were purchased and new WTW constructed to meet the containing increase in demand. By 1958, more than 3,400 mils of water was being supplied each year. In 1960, a revolutionary distillation plant, then known as a seawater distillation plant, it was situated at La Humere in the Vale and was able to distill 80,000 gallons of seawater into 20,000 gallons of raw water each hour. The plant was reasonably successful for a few years in allowing the islands to keep up with customer demand. People who lived where is now the reservoir were asked to be evacuated. They had to leave their family homes so the reservoir could start to be built. In droughts over the years, if you're lucky enough, you get to see the top of the houses in the reservoir still there, underneath all that water. Nowadays, Islanders enjoy having a lovely walk around the reservoir with great views, lots of wildlife and lots of history. Fishermen like to fish in the reservoir, but you can only do this if you have a valid licence. This reservoir is steeped in Guernsey history and it's one of the most beautiful places to walk and have a relax and enjoy your surroundings with some amazing views being able to see right out at sea and all the beautiful green wildlife and nature Woodlands frame the reservoir. If you turn around, you can look down on the St Saviour's Water Treatment Works. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is the first video on a mini series I will be making all about Guernsey and its history.
Stay safe, Guernsey, and thank you for watching.